How important is abortion in your reelection campaign this year? Well, it's, I mean, it continues to be something that's really impacting people. I mean, when uh, Roe was overturned, you know, I came home uh, to Kansas that day and was met with people who were uh, upset, who were scared and having anxiety. You know, and we're right next door to Missouri where they passed a total ban um, and and we saw lives being upended. So it continues to be a really important issue, even if, you know, in August, I know Kansas got a lot of attention because we were able to push back um, in a really resounding way against uh, what was an extreme attempt to change our state's constitution. But, you know, the next day, the anti-choice groups said that they were going to double down and that they would be back. And so I think that folks know that it's just as important for us to get out, stay engaged, um, and show up in November because uh, our rights are on the ballot in November. And I have an opponent that um, would absolutely support a, a federal ban. And, um, you know, I think that I think that people recognize that. Uh, polling indicates that in your district in Kansas, that 61 percent would prefer to vote for a candidate uh, who supports uh, legal abortion services. Only 25 percent would vote for a candidate who wants to make that illegal. Uh, what, do you, what do you tell Democrats uh, outside of your district about running in a place where you have to find a way to appeal to Republican voters? Well, I think one of the most important things that we can do is, uh, you know, I'm always making sure that people know I'm here to serve. Uh, I'm here to serve the folks in the Kansas third, and I'm here to serve the state of Kansas. And, you know, in August, we pull, pulled together. Uh, there was a broad coalition of people across political ideologies and um, and beliefs that wanted to push back against this uh, this extreme these extreme attempts uh, for total bans, no exceptions, um, attempts to criminalize doctors um, or patients. And I think that it's really important that folks know that uh, we don't nobody we do not want the government uh, making. Uh, making these very personal uh, dis decisions for us, you know, and, and I hear that. I do hear that from across the political spectrum, whether we're here in, in Johnson County um, or out in, uh, which is a suburban county or out in the more rural areas like Anderson or Franklin County, where I had, you know, farmers ask me where I'm at uh, before the amendment. Farmers are asking me where I was at on this because they don't want the government getting involved in their uh, in their family and, and medical decisions.